Hey guys, I'm Brent. And I'm Bobby. And you're watching... Ooh. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> so today we're going to show you how to do a stopwatch effect in After Effects. So this is actually something we had to use on our recent video, our, our regenerative braking video, or um, Ice versus Tesla braking challenge, as we were calling it. Um, it's kind of a, it was surprisingly difficult to figure out how to do this. You would think that there would just be a plugin that just does the effect for you. But um, we had to find a little workaround, and it turns out it's not too difficult to do. So let's go ahead and jump right in, and we'll show you how to do it. So excited. So, so ex excited. I don't even know how to do this, so I can't yeah, wait to I'm learn. about to teach Bobby a little something. Here we go. And it goes like, like this. this. All right, so the first thing we get, we're in After Effects here. I already dragged in a nice video clip to work with here, this little GoPro shot from a uh, special exclusive video for our Patreons. So if you have any interest in seeing what the hell is going on in this video, donate even a dollar. Anyone who's a Patreon gets to see this stuff. So. Woo! And you, you, oh, and you want to see this yeah, behind the scenes this. exclusives. So we got our clip here going on. Now let's say in this particular clip, we want to be able to do our stopwatch effect for some reason. We're timing Bobby to see how long it takes him to get to his car. Yeah. So we're going to select the layer that we want. We're going to go to effects. We're going to go down to this one here where it says text. And we're going to pick numbers. Now you can set this up a couple different ways. If you want your stopwatch to look the way it should look, you're going to want to align it left, and we'll see in a moment why that is. And as far as fonts and whatever goes, that's kind of up to your discretion, whatever you like. Whatever it's on right now seems good enough for me. Also, I'm going to go with horizontal. That will mean the text will kind of go across the screen as opposed to down. Again, stopwatch effect, so typically a stopwatch goes across, so that's what we want. So we're going to hit OK. Now, Whoa. first thing, yeah, it kind of covered up our screen here, so we don't want that. We want to actually be able to see what's underneath in order to get achieve our stopwatch effect. So we're yeah. going to go over to our effect controls over here, and then down here, I'm going to open this up a little bit so we can read the whole thing. We have this little button here that says composite on original. So we want to check that so that we can see our video underneath okay, it. There it is. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here I'm going to go to position. I'm going to use this little tool here because I want this up in the top corner. So I'm going to click here, and that's going to stick my little stopwatch here. Nice. I can also, I think it's a little too small, so I'm going to go down to size. I'm going to blow it up a little bit so we can really see it. That looks good. Um, I'll stick with red. I like that. And all right, so maybe we'll also go two decimal places instead of three just to keep it a little tidier. All right, so we have the start of what will be our stopwatch effect now. It's looking good already. Yeah, it's looking good already. But if we play a little bit right now, yeah, it's just kind of sitting there not doing anything. It's like this. So we're going to have to animate this ourselves. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back down into our video layer here. We're going to go to effects. We have numbers here. We'll open that one up. And then we're going to want to go into this guy here that says format. And under format, we have a, a particular parameter that's called value offset random max. It's kind of a weird name, but basically what this is going to do is we're going to manually offset the time that we uh, want our stopwatch to go for. So first thing we'll have to do is we'll hit the stopwatch here to create our first keyframe where we want the stopwatch to start. That's very important. You need to put a keyframe at the spot where you want to start and one where you want to end. Let's see, 22 seconds-ish about here. So let's go ahead about 10 seconds. That's the one unfortunate thing that, about not having an actual stopwatch effect is you have to kind of time out yourself how long each uh, interval is. So that's not great, but it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it could be worse. This is a workaround. So we're going to add a keyframe here and then add where this value offset uh, parameter is we're going to type in 10 for 10 seconds now as you can see our stopwatch here changed to 10 seconds so let's use this button here this will go back to our first keyframe now if we play yeah there's just like a snow we got a little stopwatch oh, going so like, it's looking really good yeah and then as you can see when we get to 10 seconds it's just like it stops gigantic. that's awesome uh -huh. and then so now Whenever we need our stopwatch to start and stop, we kind of go to wherever we are we need it in our timeline. We put our first keyframe, very important, for where it starts. We jump ahead to where we need it to end. 
put in our last keyframe, and then we type in our new value. So in this case, it was already at 10 seconds, so if we needed to add to that, I think that was about five seconds, we'd just type in 15. And now, it would start from where it was at 10. It just like got bigger. And then and once it hits that first keyframe, oh, we'll continue going. Wow. Okay, I don't have my keys on me, so that works. And it's as simple as that. That's, That's your stopwatch really cool. effect right there. So I actually have a question, Brent. Sure. So say that someone's trying to do an effect where you want to build up from the number zero to, say, 563, okay. right? Uh, now, say like they don't want it to be based on time, it's just numbers based. Okay. Like a calculation or something. Sure. So is there a way that you can get rid of all the decimals so that it's just numbers? Oh, absolutely. Um, as it turns out, we kind of brushed over really quickly in the beginning, but there's this little value here called decimal places. So if we wanted to, we could click on that, put it to zero, and now we just have even numbers. So it becomes a number counter now. Yeah, exactly. That's really cool because for so long I tried to figure out that effect in, mm -hmm. in After Effects. Right. And uh, there was no way to do it. There was a workaround, but it was really complicated. And uh, this seems like this is a lot easier. A really easy way to do it. Now there's some other stuff you can do in here too. Um, under the uh, type option here, pull down, you can change it to some other things too. You could have it set to a time code if you Ooh. wanted a time code for some reason. Um, you could set it to actual time, so the time of the day right now. That's awesome. Um, it says 12:15. I don't know if that's actually the right time, but. <laughs> Um, and AM, yeah, this, we're not shooting this at 12, 15 AM in the morning, <laughs> as you can see based on the light yeah, outside. We're not in Alaska. A little course. movie magic there. But, so you can set it to that, you can set it to numerical date. There's a lot of different Ooh. things. It's also not 1995. It's also 1995. 95. Contrary to popular belief, we got, there's all kinds of different options. I don't even know what that's supposed to be, <laughs> but you could do that if you want to, and you could keyframe the heck out of it. <laughs> so that's basically all there is to this little workaround here for a stopwatch effect. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Do you have any other questions for me, Bobby? Let's see how high we can go. Let's see how high we can go. Let's put in a keyframe, yeah, blah, 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 right go here. Go to like 2,000. Let's go to 2,000, but let's do it in like one second. 2,000. Oh, man. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, man. Here we go. I don't think they're in 2,000 frames in that amount of time. Oh, my God. You, using this. See, wow! Crash. Look at it go! Awesome! <laughs> but it's only because it's yeah. like two thousand. Okay, that's that was so worth cool. it, right? That was worth watching to this point in the video just to see that, right? <laughs> Absolutely. You guys stuck around for the good part. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it. So thank you for watching this episode of Learning, and uh, we will see you next time on Learning. <laughs> what? Wait, let me see if I can shoot the camera. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I nailed it! <laughs> Broke the lens. Oh crap. <laughs> just get, just get. We should, we should put a fake effect. Offset. Offset. <laughs> <laughs>